combination of something. So there's many techniques that we can use to figure out that, okay, this is an unknown substance. What is it made of? One, we only study two or three techniques in O-levels or IGCSE, and we study three or five, three or four more in A-levels. So one simple technique to figure out what that thing is made of is to figure out its empirical formula. Empirical formula takes its percentage composition. Now, for that, we need to understand what percentage composition is. So percentage composition is that, okay, this thing, what percentage of it is this particular element? So for example, I take uh, copper sulfate. It's MR. I've calculated it. it. I think it's 160. Now, what percentage of that 160 is copper? Let's say that's a very simple question. That what percentage of that is copper? So what I'll do is I'll be like, okay, I have copper compared with the whole thing. So copper plus sulfur plus four oxygen. Copper's AR is 64. The whole thing is 160. And then I multiply by 100% because I want to know the percentage. So 64 times 100 divided by 160 gives me 40. So that means copper is 40% of this compound. What that means is that let's say you found a rock made of this thing. And let's say the rock weighs two tons. How much of that can you get? Like how much copper can you get from, from out of that? 40% of that two tons. So you can get 0 0.8 tons of copper from that thing. So knowing percentage composition obviously has its place in uh, metallurgy and all that, but it also helps us figure out the underlying combination or structure of things. Similarly, how much of this is sulfur? Sulfur compared to the total copper plus sulfur plus four oxygen into 100%. So sulfur is 32, this is 160 times 100%. And that will give me the value, which is simply 32 divided by 160, which is simply, what is that value? Yeah, so that is 20%. So this thing is 20% sulfur. 20% sulfur, 40% uh, copper. So the remaining 40%, that is oxygen. So there you go. All right. So we can easily figure out the percentage composition of things. Now, what can we do with that percentage composition? we can find empirical formula with that percentage composition. So let's say I, I just knew that copper was 40%, sulfur was 32%, and oxygen was 40% in some compound, but I did not know what their ratio was or what formula they were made in. Let's say I did not know that. Can I use this information to you find that? Yes. And that will be the ratio of things, which is empirical formula. So Sir, step one, yeah. So I don't I have one question. Uh, go on. The copper, sulfur, and oxygen here, uh, shouldn't the percentage composition add up to like 100%? Oh, sorry. This shouldn't be 32%. This should be 20%. My bad. Yeah, oh. thank you for pointing that out. And okay. this should be, yeah, now it is all right. Now, this is my percentage mass or percentage composition. We'll treat it like mass. And step one in the empirical formula is to convert it to moles. Okay, step one is to find moles. Now, we will review moles in the next class, but for now, just go with the flow. Just divide by their AR. I want to know that, okay, 40% of this is copper. What will that be in mole ratios? So copper is 64, so I'll divide this by that. This is 32, this is 60. Notice that I'm not dividing it by mass of oxygen gas. I'm dividing it by AR, okay? So step one is to find moles by dividing by AR. So let's do that. So 40 over 64, that is 0 0.625. 20 over 32, that is 0 0.625. And 40 over 16, that is 2.5. Now this is kind of like the mole ratio of things, but I need whole numbers. So to find whole numbers, there is two ways of doing that. Step One method is to divide by smallest. Why? But because I want to find ratios. 
That is one method. The second method is to multiply it by LCM of denominator. So if you have fractions like three over two, four over five, then you simply divide by, then you simply multiply by LCM of two and five, the denominators. This method is not used that much in O levels and IGCSE, but this method is used all the time. Okay, so I'll divide by the smallest, so 6.625, 0 0.625, 0 0.625. Notice that I'm dividing all of them by the same smaller number because I want the ratios. So this will give me one, one, and four, which tells me that this thing has one copper, one sulfur, and O4. And this is its empirical formula. So I found it. I found the ratio because, again, we were looking for ratio. So I found the ratio of any element in this compound using this. The first step was to divide by its relative atomic mass, which is basically finding ratio, moles. And once you have moles, you divide by the smallest or you multiply by LCM to find the simplest ratio. And that's empirical formula. Let's do one more example of this so things are more clear. So this is an MCQ for the exam. I'm just going to write the data. So they say there's something that has 63.6% nitrogen and 36.4% oxygen. And there's only two elements there. Okay, so how do you figure out the empirical formula? First step, divide by relative atomic mass because we are trying to find moles. So nitrogen's relative atomic mass is 14, oxygen's relative atomic mass is 16. So again, I get these values from the, cal uh, from the prior table. And then when I divide that, I get 4.54. And the other one I divide by and I get 2.28. Now calculators also give you values to like more decimal places, but it's up to you to just round off reasonably. Okay, so now second step is to find ratio. For that, you have two techniques. If you have fractions, you multiply by LCM of denominator. We don't have fractions. If you don't have fractions, you divide by the smallest number. So I'll divide by 2.28 and divide by 2.28 here. Now you will see that I won't get exactly two here, but I get some similar number. So I'll round that off. If you think that, okay, this number can be rounded off, do that. So I get two and one. Now, when I put that in the calculator, I actually got zero, 1.95. Can I round that off? Of course, I can round that off to two. In what case will you not round off? So if you get basic ratios, like one by two, uh, or you get one by four or three by four, or you get three by two, something like that, some multiple of half, don't round off. 